Hey guys, Axio here with the World of the Algar Alarm. I'm gonna show you how we sort of train some people that aren't the best at boffer fighting. So let's do it. All right. The first thing you need to know about boffer fighting is how to kill and how to uh, die, essentially, which uh, are in the basic rules. After you learn that, essentially you sort of need to learn how uh, you're going to be fighting, because you will be fighting, of course. So here are some rookie mistakes a lot of people sort of start off doing. Um, a lot of people are aiming for the weapon rather than the person, and that's bad. Of course, you know, you're not trying to parry me, you're trying to kill me, hit, get my arms, my limbs, my body. So, you know, you want to try to make sure you're doing that. Uh, just like with any other fighting, you want to learn to duck and dodge. It's better to uh, dodge than to block because you are able to counter attack. So, Justin, uh, just uh, hit me. Boom, that was blocking. Now, this is dodging. That was dodging and counter attacking. So, it's better to do that. You also want to keep your footwork up just like you would with any other type of fighting or hand-to-hand -hand combat because you're going to want to move around. It's harder to hit a moving target. You're going to want to you know, put some movement into it, duck, dodge, all that jazz. Um, each weapon handles differently, so know the type of weapon you're dealing with. Feel free to try things out. It is a LARP, so uh, you can spin and stuff. It might not be the most effective thing in combat, but it's fun to do and having fun's the uh, main goal. So, okay, weapons. Three steps back. One, two, three. Lay on! Alright, I'm going to keep your guard up, Justin. There, okay. Keep moving around with me. There you go. Try to counterattack. Now you need to be faster than that. You're too slow. Try it again. Star. Close though. Again. Could have got me. Now you want to try to attack me as I'm doing that instead of as I'm coming back. So as you're dodging, you need to be attacking. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Go. Yep, too slow. Again. There. Too slow. Again. There. See? That was, a, that was good. As soon as you were dodging, you were attacking me, you got me. That's how you kill people. Especially people that can sometimes be better than you, or stronger than you, or quicker than you. You just got to outsmart them. Be careful. Wait for your right opportunity to strike. All right, now let's try again. Let's keep going. Five like normal. Lock, lock. Got me, okay? Good. Now what you were not doing is using the other weapon in your hand to your advantage. While I was blocking that, you could have been attacking me. Let's try it again. Go. There you go. See how much harder it was for me to recover before that? So then, think about it this way. We'll do that in slow motion. Attack with that real quick. I blocked that. You went to attack that. You could attack with that again. And you could have got. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And feel free, again, a lot, what a lot of new people do is they just do um, the same type of thing over and over. Jab, jab, maybe a swing, swing. You want to go low, high, stab, switch it up. Maybe like I attack and miss and you dodge out of the way and then I come in and stab you. So you want to sort of do things like that. You want to switch up and do some combos. Especially if you're doing high, you maybe want to go low. If you're doing the same thing over and over, you're going to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> if you do things over and over, you're going to be predictable. And you don't want to be predictable because you get kills by being unpredictable. So let's try it again. Feel free as I'm blocking high, come down low on my leg. All right, you can go. All right, that was good. Now remember, with you having two weapons, I can block once and you can use that one. Okay. Go again. There you go, see that's my arm. All right, now let's fight like normal, come on. Oh. Yeah, just keep going. Keep going. There you go, switching it up, that's good. There, there you go, whoa, oh, there you go. All right, keep going, come on. Oh, you got me. All right. And now that he just used some of those simple techniques that we use, I didn't let him win. We didn't do it just for video. He legitimately just beat me. And that is the power of the, the teaching, essentially. By him doing the techniques he just did, that he just learned, he was able to overcome. And as always, you know, f someone fighting with a sword versus another sword, they could be using two different techniques, or someone fighting with one sword versus 
two weapons or a sword and shield or a spear or a flail or bow and arrow it's always different and it's always keeping you on your toes you're always changing the way you have to fight and go about fighting if you know i was to have a long weapon he would try to be faster than me and try to get into me because if i had a long weapon like this spear over here his job would be to wait till i strike move past my defenses and then come into me because my strength here will be distance right here but he once he blocks me uh, block uh, with that weapon Justin he blocked at that and then stepped in boom so we would have me and there's nothing I could do sort of here at this point and that's what's cool if I keep him at a distance I'm always going to win so my job is to keep him at a distance so I can kill him and not let him get in close in on me and his job is to be quick enough to block indoor dodge to get in on me in order to attack me. Boom. So, I mean, it's always different. It's always keeping you up on your toes, and but just incorporating those small pointers that we just sort of reviewed over before, uh, you will always be able to get an idea of how to fight and you know, go against another player and all no matter that. how long yeah. I've been doing it versus how long he's been doing it, once you get the basics down, you become a threat to everyone. When you are have been here playing for a while and you're facing someone who just came in but just got the basics covered, then they become a threat to you. No one is ever too good. It's not like playing a, a video game on a console or a computer game and just being like, wow, that guy's so good. He obviously has no life. He's playing it all the time. You're always challenged and always kept on your toes and always having to switch it up. And that's what's cool about LARPing. You're always just uh, equal to everyone. It it's becomes an equal thing. Everyone is able to kill you. You're able to kill everyone once you get the basics down. It's it's a fun time all around. So, you know, come, come and try it out with us. Please comment, like, subscribe, check out our uh, Facebook fan page and the website in the description below other YouTube videos or just Google the word Allegora A-L-L-E-G-R-A and you can find all of our social media there. <laughs> World of Allegora LARP. LARPing innovated.